Hey, good morning, my friends. I'm Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. We're going to call this Summer 2.0, just because everything in the world now is a 2.0 when it's revisited, right? Hey, good morning, John Robert Williams. Hopefully you're enjoying retirement. Um, so we have some warm weather. Now, I'm going to show you toward the end of a long computer model run that there could be a drastic change. But I want you to remember, we always talk about the European model being the best model. It's good. It's good from about second day or third day to about the seventh or eighth day. That's its sweet spot. Nine, ten days out, it starts to get a little eccentric. And that's probably what it's doing here in bringing some cold in. Although we know that that's going to happen at some point, but it probably won't happen uh, that soon. So let's get into it and first cover uh, today and uh, show you what's going on. So this is the this is the radar right now, and uh, still a few showers going on in the no oh, the southeastern part of the state, let's say, in the Thumb and in the Detroit area. These are diminishing, but I would say that, you know, you could still have a 15-minute shower in the southeast part of the state. I'll say good morning, folks, because people are going crazy. i got to say hi to Eugene Sense. Good morning, Ypsilanti. Uh, Jenny Steele, good morning to you. Maybe. Good morning, maybe. And Linda Jascott. Randall Meyer, thanks for watching this morning. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosso. This is the MLive Morning Weather Update. Uh, so, uh, a few showers out there. And we've got a lot of cloudiness out there, too. So, we'll gradually fight off the clouds through the day. But I would call it a more cloudy day uh, than a sunny day. Hey, thank you, Greg Gregory Boggs. You have a great day and a blessed uh, day also, my friend. All right, so the storm system is translating to the southeast. We're shaking the rain, and then we got to shake off the clouds. It'll be a slow to do so. Here's the radar forecast, uh, and you'll see that it's fairly quiet except for Detroit area. Uh, you know, you could still get a couple of showers. This is uh, 4 o'clock this afternoon, 5 and 6. The rest of the state, Grand Rapids, Lansing, Kalamazoo, Northward, Traverse City, Cadillac, uh, up to Mackinac, dry today. And just kind of a, a nice uh, fall day. Here's total rainfall off of that same model. And all you see is um, you know, up to a tenth of an inch around the Detroit area and into the southern part of the thumb today. So fairly dry. Now we start to look at that European model. And remember, I said that uh, when we get out into the future with this one, after about eight days, it goes to the extreme. So if it's forecasting a warm up at the end, it will actually go to over warm. Or if it's forecasting a cool down, it will go to uh, a cool down, which is opposite of a lot of the U.S. models, because a lot of the U.S. models bring the forecast back to what we call climatology toward the end, because climatology is the most likely thing to happen. It has happened over the last 30 years. So the models kind of want to inch toward that, but the European can kind of uh, go off, off the rails sometimes. Uh, but we do know that it is a good model regardless. So gives us a good feel for what's going to go on in the weekend and into early next week. So this is Friday and it's a beautiful work skipper Friday and this is Saturday and this is Sunday and this has crept into some things where maybe across the UP and across northern lower Saturday night there could be a stray shower or two but most of the state stays dry monday we're getting into a southwesterly flow we're starting to warm up tuesday we're warm uh wednesday and thursday we're warm and then this is the model that wants to bring the cold front through this is this is new 
but not surprising. It would be about time. And hey, Victoria Angela, yes, your birthday on Monday is going to be great weather. That is if you like summer 2.0. Now, this is next Friday, and then you see the blue lines. That is much, much colder air. But again, this is the end of its believability, if that's a word. <laughs> and this could change a lot. Uh, so, high temperatures today be a little on the fallish side, 65 to 70. Tomorrow, back into the low 70s. Saturday, 75 to 80. Sunday, 78 to 82. Monday, in the low, to, low 80s. Tuesday, low to mid 80s. Wednesday, low to mid 80s, more mid 80s. Thursday, hot in the southeast, starting to cool off some in the northwest. And then remember, this is the same model, so it's going to show us the cooler air, 60s and 50s. And then it says 10 days out, Saturday, October 7th, a high temperature only in the 50s and places and 40s in the north and again. And we would not believe that. I would not uh, believe that at all. So, there it is. It's pretty short and sweet. We're shaking the showers. We're shaking the clouds gradually today. We're back to half sunny tomorrow. We're back to sunny on the weekend. Next week is summer. And uh, then we'll just, we'll wait for the shoe to drop someday, as we know it will. But right now, it's not in the cards, at least for the next nine or ten days. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregro, so hopefully you got something out of this MLive Morning Weather Update. And I do have what I think for the winter is a very interesting post up already this morning. It's about El Nino. El Nino isn't just a blanket statement that it turns our uh, winters warmer than normal. Uh, one of my uh, fellow meteorologists that I really respect, he does a lot of media uh, research in this area, he gave me some, some research that he did, he derived, and uh, so I have a post up already about, search something like um, Torre Grossa M Live uh, El Nino, and you should see that it's it, the strength of the El Nino is really what matters. And then later today I'm going to post what the strength is right now of the El Nino, and I'll give you, I'll let you off the hook. Uh, they're kind of starting to talk strong to very strong El Nino wording, and that matters. So read those posts uh, and have yourselves a great day. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa.